Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm going to make some fire starters, so I thought I would show you how I do it. I hope by now you all have an Imusa grease pot. We have several of these. This one I just happen to have on hand today. So what I'm going to do is take that inner lid that slides in here, and I'm going to stick it down in, in here. And with that little lid lifter on the bottom, then I'm going to put water up to the level of that and then I'm going to put another can in there. Okay, so I got the water hot already just to make it faster and I'm going to turn on the burner to get it boiling. Then I'm going to take a soup can and I'm going to set it inside so I basically have a double boiler. Then I'm going to drop some little candles in here and I'm going to melt them. If you have old candles, that's even better. I didn't have any old ones on hand. I've used them all up. I should have taken the wick out of there. I'm just going to pull the wick out because I don't need that. And then I'm going to wait for these to melt. Then I took... Oh, I'm going to put the lid on. Keeps the heat in. Keeps everything cooking better. Then I took an um, egg carton and I put two cotton balls in each compartment. And then when the wax melts, I'm going to pour it in on top. Then I can cut these apart and I have fire starters. So make sure you have foil down. You don't want to spill this wax on your counter because it's a heck of a mess. Be sure you have your pot holders and some tongs so you can pick this up because it's going to get hot and you need to be able to pull that can up. So I don't know exactly how long this is going to take to melt and um, let me look. The water's boiling. They're starting to melt. It's going to take a couple of minutes. So uh, when the wax melts you pour it over the cotton balls and then you just, or if you have dryer lint, you could use dryer lint. I just don't have dryer lint and I have cotton balls. So that's what I'm using today. And then I'm going to pour it over there and let it cool completely and cut these apart. Water's boiling. The wax is starting to melt. Let me just show you a little bit here. It's not all the way melted but I'm just going to pour it over like this and it's going to get all saturated into the cotton ball and I can put it back and let it melt some more. Don't use your good cans or your good pots for this because it will be ruined. You've got one of these old Imusa pots, they're great and they're inexpensive and so if something happens to it you can just get another one. Otherwise get an old pan out of your kitchen and put a something in the bottom so it's like a little double boiler. Or go to a thrift store or a, um, a garage sale or a yard sale and get an old pot for this. So see how I'm just pouring it in there when it melts? And there you go. I have fire starters. When they cool I'll just cut them apart and then I'll have them to put in a plastic bag and put in my bug out bag and my camping gear. So try this at home. It's simple to do. It's from practically nothing. And anybody can do this. Just takes a couple of minutes. The longest thing is waiting for this stuff to boil. There you go. Have to let it boil a little more. Anyway, leave me a comment on how you make fire starters. And if you like my videos, I hope you'll subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. So have a wonderful day.